Hi, I'm psychiatrist Dr. Janet Taylor, and here today with Identigene customer representative Tony Brady and customer Letitia Carter. Welcome. Letitia, can you tell us a little bit about your story? I have custody of my grandson. The person that my daughter thought was his father uh, turned out not to be the father. A couple of months ago, my daughter was on Facebook, another one of my daughters um, was on Facebook, and she came across a picture of this guy, and she said, you know, Mom, you gotta look at this picture. This guy is from our old neighborhood, and you know, he looks just like Brian. And I said, wow, there is a resemblance. I sent him my phone number and asked him if he would please give me a call. He gave me a call, and I asked him, I said, do you think there's a possibility you could be the father? And he told me that he didn't know, but he believed he could because he saw a resemblance with the baby also. And I asked him if he wouldn't mind going half with me to buy the DNA test, and he did. Took the DNA test, um, and the results came back, and we were just overjoyed. It, 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 we found his dad. We were, we were overjoyed. Why was it so important for you to establish who Brian's father was? I think every child needs to know where they come from. And it was just, I needed to know. It was, it was, it was personal. I needed to know. And so, but tell me more about that drive. What was personal about it? Well, first of all, this guy is, his name is um, Quentin, and he's overjoyed to have a child. I mean, it was just a void there, not knowing. On a personal note, did you know who your father was? Oh, yes. So you knew the importance of growing up with your father? I was married to my children's father. My mom and dad was married, you know, so yes. So that sense of family was important. And for your grandson, it sounds like you really understood that. Yes. And thankfully, Quentin, his father, Brian's father, also understood that need and wants to play a role in his life. His mom left his father in Germany when he was two years old. And here he found his son at two years old. That was awesome. So often when you hear about uh, cases of paternity, it's, it's from a negative standpoint. The father's found and the father doesn't want to play a role. But for so many men, I think that message is one that you don't hear enough about, about men who really want to step up and do what they're supposed to do for their children and, and fill that void and, and be in their lives. And it sounds like you, you really paved the way to make that happen for Brian. Right, that was, that was my goal. Can you talk about what your experience was like when you called Identigene? My daughter and I, we were sitting on the porch and looked at my phone and I said, the results are in. And we were sitting there with our fingers crossed and I put my hand over it and then when I looked at it, we just jumped up and high-fived each other and gave each other a hug and it was, it was just a wonderful feeling, it was. So it sounds like it was a terrific experience. It was, it was. What advice would you give to women, maybe grandmothers, maybe mothers who are hesitant about finding out who their child's father is? Just do it. Just do it. It's needed. It's a necessity. And like I said, it fills a void. Everybody needs to know where they come from. Letitia, when you called Identigene, did you have a specific concern in mind? My concern was the 99.99. Uh, I was actually looking forward to say 100%. So when I got the results, I called in to customer service. And Tony, you were smiling when she said that. <laughs> smiling because that's a very common question that we as Identigene representatives do have. 99.99% uh, is the highest probability that can be achieved in a paternity test. Another common question that we do receive as well, since her samples were sent from Florida, is that it can take anywhere from five to 10 days to receive those samples. So I do imagine you took some time waiting, you know, very anxious Four for days. your results. So, <laughs> so yeah, just incorporating that mailing time as well. And then, you know, it's two business days, uh, depending on samples and of course incorporating the mailing time so yeah so two common questions the accuracy in 99.9 really is equivalent to 100 percent and also if you're a customer to give yourself time to get the sample sent because as we know a teacher you're a real testament to what it takes to find out who the paternity is so four days for it to get from florida to utah yes. but you were happy with the result i'm happy <laughs> <laughs> great well that's what we like to hear yes happy customers <laughs> well thank you both Thank you. Thank you.